You can't cut that clean, baby. There are uh, still a few loose ends. What do you mean? Oh, there's a bunch of hot little letters, pen pal. Well, you're everything Bill said you were. Gangster, crook, and now blackmailer. You... Well, you can't hurt me anymore, so go ahead and use them. These are not for you, baby. These are for Senator Stan. Theater 5 presents Come Home, Daughter, All is Forbidden. Operator, this is Elizabeth uh, Adams, but there, there must be some mistake. There's no mistake, Operator. This is Senator Stanton. The young lady is my daughter. Now, you put her on. Oh, Dad, for heaven's sake. It's all right, Operator. I'll take the call. Well, why didn't you take my call, Elizabeth? I was afraid you were a reporter. Oh, is that all? Well, of course. Where are you, Dad? In Washington. Is something wrong? You tell me. In person. I want you home on the next plane. Elizabeth, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes, Senator. So did most of Rome. May I ask why I'm being bullied like a witness before your subcommittee? I think I'll plead the fifth. I prefer not to discuss it on the phone. Let's say I don't approve of a United States Senator's daughter traipsing about Europe alone and... Confounded, I hate the word. Incognito. But it's such a lovely word. So romantic. Now, you listen to me, Elizabeth. Within reason, what you do is your own affair. But your old man's pipelines are pretty good, and the word I get over here is just that. Affair. And since I've reached the age of consent, that's not within reason? Not with Vittorio Bellini. The man's a criminal. Oh, don't be silly. He has an income tax problem. Who hasn't? Problems. All he has to do is show his face in this country. He'll be indicted. Not only that, but Oh, Daddy, you've been witch hunting too long, and... I'm hunting one now. You. Now you get yourself home, or I'll come and get you. With Congress in session? Aren't you afraid the country would fall apart without you? If I can't come, I'll send Bill Drake after you. Go ahead, Senator. But for your information, he's the last man in the world who could change my mind about Vic. (sighs) Who is it? It's me, baby. Darling, I thought you were in Naples. How could I stay there after your letters? Such beautiful letters, so romantic. Oh, I hope I didn't sound like a schoolgirl. Not any girl I went to school with. I burned up the roads back to Rome. Well, how would you like to run them up back to Naples with me? You running away from something? I'm running right into your arms. Will you take me? Baby, I would take you anywhere. Please have tickets ready at gate. Flight 601 for Paris, France, now loading at gate 3. And the hotel says she checked out this morning? Right after my first call, Bill. Oh, maybe I should go myself. Yeah, that would make a dandy item. Daughter's torch lights fire under Senator. He burns while she fills in Rome. You can't afford that publicity, sir. Oh, the devil with my future. It's Elizabeth I care about. She can't get mixed up with Bellini. You know what kind of filth he is. You covered the hearings when my committee sat on him, gambling, narcotics, hoodlumism. But we couldn't nail him down. You had the records on him for tax fraud. Why wasn't he indicted? He skipped the country before the grand jury could hand it down. We've held it up, hoping he'd risk coming back. If he ever does... That is likely. Oh, why didn't we grab him in time? Why didn't you grab Elizabeth when you could have? <laughs> no guts. <laughs> my daughter scared you more than covering a war and beat ma'am. Not your daughter. You. Me? You're a big legend to live up to, sir. Anyone in your family lives in a glass cage. Now, I live free and easy. I I was afraid I might bust out. Like Liz. It's my hunch that's why she's out chasing moonbeams right now. Maybe. I'd rather think it was on the rebound from you. That's why I said I'd go after her. I'd like to test that myself. Flight 77, direct to Rome, Italy. Now loading at gate 7... Passengers will please have tickets ready. Flight 77 to Rome, Italy, now loading at gate (laughs) 7. Lucky sevens. You'll need all the luck you can get. Bill, how are you going to find her? She's not in Rome. I'm heading straight for the rat's hole. 
The scoop is that Bellini owns a little joint in Naples called Zia Rosa. Watch your step, Bill. He can fight dirty. So can I, Senator. If I have to. Zia Rosa's. I was dreamy, Vic. Mm. Naples, the bay, the moon, that marvelous food, and the music. A little better than your hotel dining room last night. <laughs> it's like another world, tucked away in a corner. How did you ever find it? Easy. My apartment is upstairs. The view is even better from there. Elizabeth, come with me now. Oh, I'm tempted, Vic. It's all so romantic. Isn't that what we're all about? Yes. Uh, brandy first? For courage? Sure, pigeon. Willie, a couple of cognacs. Sure, boss. Oh, Vic, I am in heaven. Absolute heaven. Tony, mm. two cognacs for Mr. Bellini. Uh, hey, who's the guy who just came in? I don't make them. Send over the brandy, then back me up. All right. Hey, good evening. And uh, welcome to Tia Rosa. You are alone? Yes. You uh, wish to sit at the bar? I wish to join Mr. Bellini. You are a friend of his? No. Of the ladies. Take his coat, Tony. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> well, a frisk. All-American custom. Let him go, Tony. He's clean. The all-American type. Thanks for making me feel at home. Uh, I can find my own way. Thank you. You don't know how free I feel. A million miles away from anywhere. Hello, Liz. <gasps> Bill, how did you... Excuse me, Vic. This is, um... Uh, this is an old friend of the family. Bill Drake, Vic Bellini. How are you, Mr. Drake? Bowled over. Of all places to run into you, Liz. Are you in Naples for long, Mr. Drake? No. I expect to leave on the midnight train. Oh. And you've got lots of time. Will you join us? I was going to ask Liz to join me in a dance. Elizabeth? If you don't mind, Vic. No, no, no. Of course not. Just one. Bill, I want you to get out of here. Just as soon as you do. I am not leaving. Now, you be a good little bird dog and run back to Daddy and tell him it's no good. Liz. I don't want to talk about it. Then why are you dancing with me? I was afraid you were going to tell Vic who I am. He knows, knucklehead. He knows. Where are you taking me? The terrace. Out. It's no use, Bill. Do you want me to drag you by the hair? <sighs> All right. You know, you're, you're very funny, Bill. Why? Well, what makes you think you can just walk back into my life and take over? Somebody has to. You're making one sweet mess of it. This guy is a first-class heel, Liz. He's worse than that. You can He's... stop right there. I won't listen to anymore. I love Vic, and I'm going to marry him. Marry him? Do you know what that would do to your father's career? Nothing can touch my father. He's above us all in a little ivory tower in the sky. And don't talk to me about his career. For 25 years, that's all I've lived. My father's life. Never my own. And as you ought to know, the very thought of trying to live up to my father has scared off every man who was ever serious about me. Well, it didn't scare Vic off because he doesn't know who I am. I'm just the girl he loves. Liz, darling, what do you use for a brain? He doesn't love you. He wants to use you. How? By compromising you getting you involved in a messy affair and threatening to expose it unless your father uses his influence to suppress evidence against him and let him back into the States. That's a lie, and I'm going to prove it. How? By letting him compromise me. Not while I'm around. Well, you're not going to be. You walked out of my life, Bill. Well, I'm walking back in, and we're leaving right now. Maybe that will convince you to get out of my life for good. Well... Enjoying the view? Not very much. I'd rather see it from your apartment. Be my guest. But what about Mr. Drake? Mr. Drake has a train to catch. Now, wait a minute. Willie. I... Yeah, boss? Willie will drive you to the train, Mr. Drake. <laughs> Vic? Hmm? 
You do love me, don't you? Give me a chance to prove it. I will. May I have a drink first? Why not? Vic, if you love me, let's pack up tomorrow. Go home and get married. Hey, easy, Pigeon. I uh, can't go to the States. Why not? I told you. That uh, little disagreement between me and the Internal Revenue. It's got to be straightened out. Well, then straighten it. I uh, need your help for that. Mine? Well, I should really say uh, your old man's. My... My father? Yeah. Senator Stanton. <gasps> oh, uh, your drink? <laughs> I think I need it. So you do know who I am? I've known from the beginning. And Bill was right. You have just been using oh, me. Oh, no. Nothing like that, baby. It's just that your old man could quash that indictment as pending like that. Now, don't go all dewy-eyed on me, Angel. These things are done every day. It's a business proposition. Give a little, take a little. Honey, grow up. I'm growing up fast. Up till a minute ago, I was young enough to think it was me you were interested in. Don't sell that short. I've been interested and more than interested in you since the moment I laid eyes on you. Everything's changed. Oh, Vic, you don't know how everything's changed. Where are you going, Elizabeth? Out of here, back where I belong. Oh, no, no, no. You can't cut that clean, baby. There are uh, still a few loose ends. What do you mean? Oh, there's a bunch of hot little letters, pen pal. Well, you're everything Bill said you were. Gangster, crook, and now blackmailer. Well, you can't hurt me anymore, so go ahead and use them. These are not for you, baby. These are for Senator Stanton. The big Lily White Crusader with the next nomination in his pocket. And his eye on the big job. Only these will put a crimp in his style. Now, can't you just see the headlines? Senator Stanton's daughter and exiled crook. <laughs> so, okay. Here's the key. His paper's on me for my letters from his daughter. Now, you get him over here with him. Or I'll make such a stink he couldn't even get elected dog catcher. And what if I refuse? Baby, you can. I got you just where he wants you. You go on back to your hotel and think it over. Alone. It's all right. It's Bill. Keep it low. Bill, what happened to the whole light? I took the bulb out. Stay here. I'll make sure there's no one in your room. Okay. Alone at last. Bill, you're all... Did they hurt you? You mean Willie? Mm -mm. Tucked me aboard as gentle as a mother. Oh, I got a little bunged up when I stepped off outside town. I didn't realize the rapo was so rapido. How did you know where to find me? First thing I did when I got to Naples was locate your hotel. But Miss Adams not only wasn't Miss Adams, she wasn't even home. So I came to Zia Rose's. What did you come back for? I told you I was back in your life to stay. Besides, I uh, forgot to give you this. What is it? I couldn't book a flight home, so I got your boat ticket. I can't use this. Here we go again. Oh, you don't understand. I can't go home now. Oh, Bill, I'm so ashamed. You don't know what I've done. Y you've got to help me. Now, that is the first sensible thing you've said in a long time. What do you think I'm here for? Bill? Bill, wake up. Uh, oh. oh. What, what time is it? 10 a.m. Hey, it, 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 it's time to call Bellini. I suppose it doesn't work. It's got to. Liz, last night you said you were ashamed. Okay, now's the chance to wipe it out. Yeah, I better, don't you think? Yes, you've been a dope. He still thinks you're one. Uh, uh, what's Bellini's number? Spazia 3... Th no, Bill, I'll get it. This part's up to me. Okay, remember now, not till 10.30 tonight. I've got to have time to sneak aboard. Shh. Hello? 
Vic, it's Elizabeth. Morning, baby. You sleep well? Vic, I... I'm just calling to tell you that I'm, I'm sailing tonight on the Majestic. Cancel the passage. Well, it's not my idea. It's Daddy's. What do you mean? Well, I, I called home last night. I, I had to tell him everything. He, he's agreed to what you want. I want him here with the papers. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He's bringing them with him. He, he left by plane last night. He wants you to meet him in my cabin at the boat at 10.30. If you have the letters with you, he'll, he'll make the deal. There'll be a visitor's pass at the gate. It's Pier 12, cabin 24, B deck. At 10.30. I got it, kid. He's coming. Liz, you did it. Oh, I was afraid you wouldn't get here, Vic. I wouldn't have missed it. 10.30 on the nose. Have the letters? Sure. Come on in. A pleasure. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the senator? Safe at home. Drake, what is this, a double cross? That's right. Just Liz and me. The senator knows nothing about it. Watch out, Bill. Got the... oh. <sighs> that was my pleasure. Now, I hope he didn't double cross us. Get the gun, Liz. Yes. Did he bring the letters? Yeah. Right here. Give me the gun. Is this all of them? Yes. What do we do with him till the boat sails? Stash him in the closet. Once we get beyond the three-mile limit, we turn him over to the cabin, and the rest of the plan goes into operation. Cheer up, Liz. It's almost over. <laughs> Well, dear, I, uh, I wonder how Bellini is enjoying the voyage. Is he actually under arrest? Sure. The indictment was handed down against him yesterday, and the grand jury issued a warrant. Since we're beyond the three-mile limit on an American ship, we're technically on U.S. soil, and the captain can execute that warrant. When we get home? Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Bellini will be rearrested, convicted, in jail where he belongs. Uh, let's forget about him. I hope I can. I wish I could forget about those letters. Honey, let's figure that the letters never existed. Like this. There. Gone with the wind. I don't deserve to get out of trouble this easily. Who said you did? Lady, you don't know the trouble you're headed for. With me. Presented Come Home Daughter All Forbidden. Written by Ian Martin. Directed by Ted Bell. In the cast, Bethel Leslie, Gilbert Mack, Elliot Reed, Bernard Grant, and Jack Grimes. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Mr. Lee Bowman. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. That's Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.